Hey guys, Jeff here, Air Maddox and Hello Kitty Piper. We're out here fishing. We were fishing, but uh, I just was, I caught a couple, oh, I caught a trout, rainbow trout, and uh, maybe I'll show it here. And uh, yeah, and then I got some uh, snags and I just wanted to relax and this river is really tricky, so I wanted to have my hands free and just relax and have a smoke. So I'm doing a review on this Partagas Black Cigar and is it ever nice? It's really dark, but I, but it's really sweet and rich, but mellow, not peppery or or strong in nicotine. It's very enjoyable. And where are you smoking? Uh, Sutliff Creme Brulee. A classic. If you haven't tried Sutliff Creme Brulee, definitely check it out. Yeah. It's uh, if you like over the top aromatics, it's got over the top flavor. It's uh, it's basically the bulk version of Malto Dolce, which is like a honey, vanilla, caramel creme brulee uh, tobacco. But we're not here to talk about that as much as we're here to do a last minute VR for Steph, pipe artist Steph, piping artist Steph. And she asked four questions, so we're gonna see if we can bang these out fairly quick. First question, how has the world changed uh, overall for us? Well, I'll start, and for me, I was just discussing this with my buddy at work today, uh, well, on the way home from work, how when I was young, we used to visit a lot. Like our, um, the families, like almost twice a week, maybe once on a weekend and then once midweek, we'd have other friends and family come over to our house and just visit, play cards. Um, yeah, just sit at the table and have coffee or tea and just talk or maybe play a game of some sort. And I, as a kid, would remember, you know, supposedly supposed to be in bed, but I'd come down and I'd pretend I couldn't sleep. and. 50% of the time they'd let me stay up and hang out with the adults for a little while and I felt like a big, you know, a big kid for a little bit and I really enjoyed that closeness that, that we had back then. Um, I'll let Hello Kitty say some stuff if she wants. I gotta keep um, the cigar going. I would say kids these days don't really play outside as much as they, like I did when I was growing up. Like I grew up on a farm and uh, from Dust till dawn, I basically was always playing outside. Like, kids these days are just inside, like watching TV, watching their YouTube, playing video games. So, they're definitely not. Darned nearly. Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> My nephew plays Minecraft all the time. Um, so, yeah, kids these days just aren't as active as they used to be. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, that's one way. Yeah, now it's just like everybody seems to be doing their own thing, even sports. The place where I work, we used to have like three baseball teams and three touch football teams, but you just can't seem to get enough people together to to play, you know, some sports. And we used to have Christmas parties and summer summer um, parties for the factories. And I remember getting to know some of the kids and the parents. You know, like it was like we were a family. You know, everybody was a family back then. But and he, I remember people would just come over kind of unannounced, like it wasn't like plans or anything. You would just like your friends will just show up like <laughs> and you're excited who's at the door yeah, yeah exactly yeah and you're excited to get the telephone if it rang and you didn't yeah. want to miss it now you don't want to you know, avoid all that stuff pretty much if, if your home phone rings it's usually a telemarketer or most people these days don't even have home phones they just have like their cell phones yeah and cell phones there's another big thing okay so that's how things have changed and uh okay so favorite book let's go with that one um i like the chronicles of narnia um, I remember being a, a, a kid, um, well, younger, and my teacher read A Boy and His Horse, and I remember that really stuck in my head. So when I went through the series, that book really uh, had some nostalgia for me the second time I, when I read it for myself. I like another book called Dead Air, which is a, like, it's not a really popular book, but it's uh, basically about a, a little girl that calls into a radio station, and she's in, been caught up in a cult that's, uh, that's doing kind of some kind of not sacrifices or something I don't know it's not that gruesome but it's that's what's going on and then the guy is a DJ and he basically has to uncover this big conspiracy that's in this small town and he uses his DJ you know his radio to kind of uncover the this this cult thing that's going on really great ending on that book and there's a few fantasy Dungeons and Dragons books I like there's one that just off the top of my head it's called uh, Azure Bonds and uh, in like the Forgotten Realms series, I think. It was a good book. And there was a trilogy and the other two books in that one. They were pretty good. How about you, any books? Uh, growing up, I loved Charlotte's Web. 
thought it was like a really super cute story. Classic. Um, I also really like the biography Save Me From Myself, written by Brian Welch. He's like a former member of Porn. Head. Uh, yeah, Brian Head, Head Welch. Yeah. It was just like about his journey of like being addicted to drugs and being in the band and then finding God, becoming a Christian. So I thought that was super interesting. Oh. It was like a book that really stuck with me. Oh, I'd, I'd like to check that book yeah. out. I've heard, I've seen stuff on TV and on videos, and I don't really know how much I give credit to a lot of that stuff, but it'd be interesting to hear his point of view from, mm-hmm. from the book. It's very interesting. And f- favorite music? Okay, say when I was growing up. I grew up listening to, actually I didn't listen to a lot of music until I got a clock radio when I was a young teenager. And then I remember listening to a station called K104, and it played just radio stuff, like uh, I remember the Scorpions, Bruce Springsteen, um, or your favorite song, I think it was. Yeah, so, so, my, so my favorite songs. I don't really know. I never really. I like. I am. I'm. I get kind of obsessed with stuff, so I can't just have one of anything. It's like pipe tobacco. I can't just have one favorite. I gotta have a ton. So I don't really remember having a favorite song, and I get bored. Of, like, kind of bored. Like even albums. Like, I don't really know if I have a favorite album necessarily. I have a few now, but definitely not. I grew up listening to radio stuff and then the pop music, like radio, like top 40. And then I went into, when I first heard like some Metallica, I really got into that thrashy stuff um, during the late 80s and 90s. And then I enjoyed listening to just the, the you know, punky pop music that was going in in the 90s and the grungy, some of the, some of the grunge stuff. And then now I'm kind of into like power metal-y stuff and uh, speed metal. And, but I still love all that, everything, pop music, classic rock, everything like that. And you? I have so many favorite songs. Um, one of them definitely "Somewhere Over the Rainbow" by the, um, from the Wizard of Oz. Ooh. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite metal songs is "As We Speak" by Soilworks. Such a good song. I remember hearing it for the first time and just being like completely blown away by how good it is. I'll have to hear that song again. I think I played it for you. But I think you I did. I thought it sucked. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I remember when I remember Soil Work and uh, there's another that kind of heavy. Uh, what was that? Some other bands in that era. I'm trying to um, think. Uh, oh, Kill Switch Engage. That yeah. kind of stuff were were kind of popular. Chaotic, heavy stuff. I've also al- always really liked the song "Time After Time" by Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. You can see a little bit of Cindy Lauper influence <laughs> in this face right here, the hair. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and then what was uh, the other question? Favorite quote. Oh, favorite quote, yeah. You know, I probably have one, and I haven't thought hard enough, but I like, one of them that I really like, it's simple, is it is what it is. Just, because sometimes, what can you do? Like, when you're stressed out, life is so stressful, and you can't, you can't really uh, worry about it. You just got to go, it is what it is. Yeah. And, and another one that I like is, uh, Learn to accept things as they are. Sometimes there's things beyond your control. Yeah. Yep. And there's one more that's kind of along the same lines as that. And uh, oh yeah, tough times call for tough measures. Because sometimes you gotta, you know, I hate compromising, you know, and, but sometimes, you know, it's just, I guess, kind of takes away the guilt. Sometimes I do stuff that I know I shouldn't do. And I just quote that and it kind of gives me a little bit of comfort or relief, whether it should or not. That's up for debate, but, but uh, I know there's better quotes than that. But those are the ones that I, I use. Those are ones that come to my mind often. I, I should say. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, happy birthday, um, Steph, and uh, love your channel, and uh, uh, congratulations to you and Roy. And I still haven't thought of a, a good name for Roy yet, but uh, I'll think if you, <laughs> I'll try to think of some. I had a hard time thinking of one for myself. You thought of mine quite easily, though. Yeah, Hello Kitty Piper. There's just, yeah, yeah that That's one was. a good one. Suits yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. So anyway, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna this. Uh, we're gonna have this video clocking in at under ten. So have a good weekend, or I mean, good uh, birthday, and uh, look forward to more videos. Keep them coming. We'll talk to you guys later. Aromatics and Hello Kitty Piper signing out. <laughs>